So you've got a leaking axle, and you need to replace the seal. But which one does it take, and how do you replace it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure and how to replace it. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises. And today I'm going to go over some of the most popular seals that are used in a Ford 9-inch rear end, from small bearing to large bearing to our tapered roller. The tapered roller is probably the most common bearing that we use at Curry Enterprises. The reason being, of course, that it just handles a whole lot better load. The seal, as you notice, actually rides on the outside diameter of the bearing, and it's this rubber surface here. In order to install this correctly, what we recommend doing is obviously this bearing is going to be pressed onto an axle shaft, and it goes square into the housing end. We recommend taking a little bit of black RTV smear it on the OD of this the first time it goes in and install it into the housing end with your axle shaft. Once you torque it down using the four T-bolts, it's going to put preload on the bearing and it's going to put pressure on this seal. And once, what ends up happening is this seal bubbles up a little bit and seals perfectly on the OD here. Now, early large bearing or sealed bearings, they use a seal that looks like this. And what this seal does is it basically needs to go into the housing before you install your axle shaft. And it's going to sit inside the housing end all the way back till it hits a stop. Now the easiest way to do this is with a seal installation tool available from most hardware stores or even online. And it presses into the center section of the seal and you can use a little tap of the hammer to drive it all the way down until it stops. Definitely inspect it and make sure that it's gone all the way in because if you haven't, the bearing may actually stop and ride on the seal, and that's not good. You definitely don't want that. So double check and make sure that it's in all the way. Now for your small bearing Mustang guys or small bearing housings, there are a couple that are available. They all install the same way just like the large bearing seal does, but they all vary in diameter. And it might be easier for you to remove your axle shaft and measure the diameter of the seal. A good set of calipers will help you out here. So if you can remove the seal without damaging it, you'll want to measure the diameter of it. You'll notice that we do list all of the seals on our website. They're all listed by part number, of course, but also by diameter and specs. Now your early Mustang II seals are going to measure 1.96 in diameter. The next seal size up is going to be for your 64 to 66 stock Mustang housings, and that's going to measure 2.085 in diameter. And then the next size is going to be for your 67 to 73 Mustang. It's going to be a 2.25 inch in diameter. And last, this seal, also again for small bearing, is going to measure 2.375 in diameter. Now this diameter is, was used on mainly early Bronco and some of your early Ford larger passenger cars. So if you have any further questions on these seals, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. <laughs>